Welcome to Electron Online and now we're going to do another example, example two of how to illustrate the dependency of solubility of a gas in a solution on the pressure of the gas. And again, we're talking about the partial pressure of the gas within the container or within the atmosphere that it's exposed to. So now we're going to talk about the solubility of carbon dioxide. And that is, of course, a big deal in the news these days because of what we think carbon dioxide might be doing in our atmosphere. So what I did notice though, I've done some studies on carbon dioxide in the atmosphere and what's very interesting was that the amount of carbon dioxide absorbed by the oceans year after year after year over the last 20-30 years has actually been increasing and that's kind of an interesting thing. So what I've seen was the amount of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere that's been absorbed by the oceans has actually been increasing over time. And you may say, wow, why is this happening? Well, that makes a lot of sense because over the years, the amount of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere has increased. And so therefore, the partial pressure of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere has increased. And so therefore, the amount of carbon dioxide being dissolved in the oceans is also therefore increasing because as we know, that C is equal to K times P. And of course, if P increases, K will be a constant at a particular temperature, then C, the solubility of that gas will increase as well. So we can say that when the Industrial Revolution started, and as it started going, we can see that the partial pressure of carbon dioxide, so the partial pressure of carbon dioxide, was equal to, well, let's see for a moment. Back in the beginning of the Industrial Revolution, the, number, the amount of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere was about 300 parts per million. 300 parts per million. Hmm, what percent then of the atmosphere was carbon dioxide? three parts per million, well that translates to 0.03% of the uh, atmosphere was carbon dioxide. Nowadays it's getting to be very close to 400 parts per million, which means that the partial pressure of uh, carbon dioxide is proportional to of course the abundance of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere which is now 0.04%. So we've increased from 0.003 to about 0.004 in about 100 years. So, what does that mean? That means that the partial pressure, the partial pressure of carbon dioxide, is this percent of the atmosphere, so therefore it would be equal to 0.0004 atmospheres. So that's the partial pressure of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. Now, they gave us this information. Well, they meaning my textbook gave me this information that the solubility of carbon dioxide is 0.034 moles per liter at 25 degrees centigrade in one atmosphere. So then the question is, what is the solubility of carbon dioxide in current atmospheric conditions? Well, the first thing we can do then is based upon this, we can say that K was equal to, by definition, it's going to be solubility divided by the pressure, which is equal to 0.034 moles per liter at 25 degrees centigrade divided by one atmosphere which therefore makes it 0.034 moles per liter times atmospheres. So that's the what we call the constant for carbon dioxide at 25 degrees centigrade and at one atmospheric pressure, one atmosphere of pressure. So now what would be the solubility of carbon dioxide in current conditions in the atmosphere? So we could say C is equal to K times P which is equal to, our K is 0.034 moles per liter times atmospheres, and we multiply that times the partial pressure of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere, which is 0.0004 atmospheres. 0.0004 atmospheres, and therefore, this will therefore be the solubility of carbon dioxide, which is 0.034 times 0 0.0004 equals, and the answer is 1.36 times 10 to the minus 5. 1.36 times 10 to the minus 5 moles per liter, and that is the solubility of carbon dioxide in our atmosphere at 25 degrees centigrade. Now, what will happen when the temperature drops? When the temperature drops, the solubility will go up. The temperature goes up, the solubility will go down, which is also something we see in the data when we look at the amount of carbon dioxide that's been absorbed by the oceans. But see, there's a direct effect to what happens in our atmosphere based upon pressure and solubility.